Hello there, and welcome to the... Uh, it'll be the last white backgrounded video of Isle of Wight week. There will be one more video, which will be my review of tonight's episode of Doctor Who's Smile. Um, but for now, this is it, the last stand. Um, and it's my Isle of Wight special for the collection update. So there'll be... Another collection update that won't include any of this stuff um, in uh, May, um, and that'll be fun. So I'm rambling. Let's just get on. Let's start with I don't know where to start. Let's start at the front and work our way back. So first of all, we've got this wonderful T-shirt that was imported from the US to a comic book shop on the Isle of Wight. Um, called Fantastic Store, and I'll, I'll just put it like that, really. It's got all the Doctors, lots of companions as well, um, and I, I quite like it. It's very, it's it's different, it's definitely not the sort of Doctor Who t-shirt I'd usually wear, but it's still very nice, and it has Doctor Who logo up the top. So, Titan merchandise, yeah, this is official merchandise from Titan. Which is lovely. It's a comic book t-shirt. How wonderful. Um, what? There's a thing of a window open. Um, okay, next up, same shop, I got this Doctor Who mug. Which I shall get out. I have actually drunk out of this. So, it's clean though. I'll just do the wrap around. we got... Lots of characters, old, new, lots and lots and lots, so there's that. I thought it was quite a nice design, so I got a mug. I've got way too many mugs. Um, next, if, you'd, if you've if you seen yesterday's video, and I implore you to go back and watch it, because I think it's one of my funniest videos on this channel yet, um, it, you'll have seen these. Uh, it is the newly published Doctor Who books. Um, so we've got Plague City, and we got The Shining Man, and we've got Diamond Dogs. And it's the first time I've actually got all three of the newly published Doctor Who books. Previously I just got the two that I thought looked best, uh, so I don't own The Crawling Terror, and I don't own Royal Blood uh, of the these ones. I own a lot more of the 11th Doctor ones because I got given them for a birthday, so that was nice of someone. Um, speaking of books, I got this Doctor Who notebook, which is wonderful. It's got a strap, uh, which you can take off, and inside I really like the pattern, the Gallifrey and symbols, and then the pages aren't too shabby. you got plenty of space to write there. Um, and it's the same all the way through, and it's got a uh, police public call box written on the side. The wrong way round, really, because you'd expect it to be like that, but it isn't, so... Anyway, um, figurine collection, you'll have seen me unbox uh, this one yesterday, in yesterday's video as well, which is King Hydroflax. Um, and I saw this in a shop, and I thought, yeah, I'll get it. It's a really good... Um, figurine. The head is massive. It's, I think it's too big. Uh, it's out of proportion to the others, but I like it all the same. And one I'm very interested in, and I've just been having a look, and yeah, it's just a, a black, black paint. It's, um, The Veil from Heaven Sent, my favourite episode. Not my favourite monster ever, but it was still good concept, always coming, never stopping. Um, so yeah, the veil. It pro it provided a suitably scary atmosphere. Keeping with magazines and comics and things, we'll go magazine next. The latest special edition of Doctor Who magazine about toys and games. I thought I had to get it really, um, because you know it's about toys and games, and I collect Doctor Who toys, so. Um, and moving on to comic books, we'll start with this. It's actually produced by Marvel, Marvel, 
Marvel, Marvel, I don't know what I'm talking about, Marvel graphic novels, um, and it's Absalom Dark, Dalek Killer, and if you've seen my channel before, you'll know that this is the best comic book character in my opinion. He's a cold-blooded killer, likes to cut up Daleks, and I, I like his craziness, it's just mental. Um... And I like that about him. I like his chain sword. I think that's cool. And I like the fact that he cuts up Daleks. So, we've also got a couple of Titan comics. I don't so much collect the Titans comics anymore, but I've got these two because I've been collecting these. Um, we got the Fourth Doctor issue five, and it's a special five issue run. So this is the last issue of that. And we've also got Third Doctor issue five again. Third Doctor is a five issue run, so this is the last issue. And I got a framed picture today, which is the 2016 convention special. Now, I've already read it in the um, combined comics, but this one is uh, the original and it's framed. Um, so this will be going up in my room, uh, which I'm very happy about because it is such a lovely um, design. I love the art of Alice X Zhang. Um, so, yeah. Lastly, Big Finish. While I'm here, I get quite a few Big Finish audios, so we'll go with... We'll start small and work our way up. So we've got um, the novel adaptations. I was looking for Cold Fusion. Didn't have it, unfortunately, so I've got a couple of others. we got Damaged Goods, written originally by Russell T. Davis uh, and adapted by um, Jonathan Morris. Here, I'm um, looking forward to listening to this. Um, because it looks quite good. We've also got All Consuming Fire by Andy Lane and adapted by Guy Adams, which has Nicholas Briggs as Sherlock Holmes, which is awesome. And I don't usually go for Seventh Doctor, but I actually quite like his Doctor in audio so uh, and on TV. I've got nothing against Sylvester McCoy, except for all the slapstickness, all the falling over and... That gets a bit stupid after a while. Uh, any meeny miny mo spin-offs. We'll do spin-offs next. Torchwood, Torchwood One, Before the Fall, um, three disc set. Um, I'll just take them out. We've got New Girl. We've got uh, Through the Ruins with Yanto. And we've got Uprising with Yvonne Hartman before she's converted uh, to a Cyberman, Cyberwoman, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that one. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one, but then I picked it up and it just sort of, I, I ended up paying for it. Um, then I'm trying, trying Unit Silenced. Because I love the silence as a creature and units good with with her and, and her. I don't know who he is. So if this is good, I'll get the ones leading up to this and then we'll see how we go. Because with Tortured, with all of the different ranges, it can get a bit much. Um, obviously, I collect some of the Tortured ones. Not all, just, the, just a few that I like the look of. Um, and then... I've been collecting War Doctor, but that's now finished because obviously Sir John Hurt died. Um, and I was collecting Doom Coalition, but that's finished because it's the end of the series. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe Unit's the next way to go. Who knows? Uh, I know one thing that I need to finish collecting, and that is Dark Eyes. Dark Eyes 1, I got... What the fuck? Okay, um, I've got Dark Eye. I think it's karaoke. I better finish this quick. <laughs> um, Dark Eyes 1, um, which I've already listened to s slightly illegally. Not much, just, just a little bit. But it's, I mean, it's nice to have the actual discs now, so that's not at all what I thought Straxus looked like. Um, we've got The Great War, 
which is an excellent audio. Fugitives, which I can't remember because it's been ages since I listened to it. Um, we've got Tangled Web, which I really can't remember. And we've got X and the Daleks. Uh, and I remember there being a cave, but it doesn't look like there is one there. So I, I need to re-listen to Dark Eyes and then listen to Dark Eyes 2 and then get Dark Eyes 3 and 4 um, so that I can, you know, finish off that set as well. Because I do like the Eighth Doctor, um, while I'm here, might as well get out Unit. Uh, Unit Silenced, uh, House of Silence, he's been in loads of stuff. Unit Silence Square One, um, with Ingrid Oliver. We've got Silent Majority, and we've got In Memory Alone. So I'm looking forward to listening to all of these, and they'll probably appear in big, big finish reviews in the future. Um, I just need to remember which ones I'm listening to. Currently listening to War Doctor 3, which has been superb on the final part now, so get that finished and then listen to some other stuff, maybe War Doctor 4, maybe Doom Coalition, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching, um, I hope you've enjoyed this week, uh, and I shall see you tomorrow for Smile Review, which I'll try and record tonight. Um, obviously need to pack up tonight because we're going home tomorrow, leaving the island, um, and then back to work on Monday. Um, so that's that. Bye. Get out. Leave.